What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fab some besties? Today we are in our newly remodeled kitchen. And yes, I need to take the Valentine's Day wallpaper down. But I haven't decided on how I want to decorate, so we're gonna go with this for right now. While we take a look at my Mooncat nail polish collection. What? No miniatures? Toya, I don't know who you are anymore. I read the comments and we've had a lot of questions about my nail polish. I'm kind of obsessed. I do have other interests outside of miniatures. So we're gonna make some miniature paper vases and paint them with my nail polish. Don't look at me like that. I used to use Sally Hansen. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Good kind pure. This was one of my favorite colors. It was called Raisin the Bar. Then for a while I was using Ella and Mila until I discovered Mooncat. And now this is mostly what I wear. So today we're gonna go through the 10 colors that I currently have and make some minis for the dollhouse. I'm using computer paper and a paper cutter. I cut a few one and a half inch strips, wrap it around a glue stick and roll the paper, gluing along the way and adding more strips until you get the thickness that you want. Remove it from whatever you wrapped it around to make a paper tube. Glue the bottom onto paper, trim off the excess to make a simple cylinder vase. I take the polish that I am currently wearing, it's called Fake Hollow, and begin painting the paper vase. Add a clear coat for a little shine, and there we go! We have a simple dollhouse vase showcasing my nail polish. How fun is that? My dolls are gonna have so much clutter! Let's make more! Make a smaller paper tube, add a strip of paper on the side for a handle, glue it to paper to make a base, then let's paint it with a midsummer's dream. Let's cut out some circles and add a thick hot glue border. On second thought, let's make dots. Then paint it with a midsummer's dream to make a cup and saucer set. Totally inspired by the little cloud cup trend I've seen on Instagram. Kind of loving this little cloud plate. It was super easy to make. So I cut some one and a half inch circles, added dots of hot glue. Then let's add my favorite nail polish, Mermaid Bait. I think y'all are very familiar with this one. And now I have pretty little cloud plates. I made another cylinder. This one is an inch and three quarters tall. And let's just kind of bend it to make a scrunchy vase. We're gonna paint it with this color called Velvet Rose. I love glittery nail polish. Hmm, it's artistic. Let's wrap a one inch strip of paper around a straw. Then I add a half inch strip around the bottom. I added a total of three. I'm gonna use this polish called Poseidon's Prize. This is a magnetic polish that comes with a wand. So first I apply the paint, then I take the magnet and I just kind of hover over it and it moves and creates this little tiger eye effect. After a couple of coats, it's looking pretty good. I made a taller one for the polish Reclaim the Flame from the Hocus Pocus limited edition line. This one is also magnetic so we can get a cool effect. I made another vase and this time we're gonna add little glue dots to it all over and use the polish Amuck 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 which is also from the limited edition Hocus Pocus line. It's this purpley color and it's also magnetic but not sure if that feature is great on a textured vase. So let's cut some half ovals out of cardstock, stack and glue a few layers together, make a paper tube, glue a stack of ovals to the front, and another stack to the back. Now that we have a flat surface, let's paint it and use the magnet to create that tiger eye effect. 
I cut a circle of cardstock, place something round in the center, and then press the cardstock around it. Then I bend it to the shape that I want, add glue on the inside to help it hold its shape. Let's paint it with Galactica. It's a purple shimmery color. And now we have a wavy bowl. Let's take a strip of paper and we're gonna fold it to make a rectangle. Add a base. This time we are going to use Mercury's Tears. I'm noticing I have a lot of blue polish and they're all sparkly. I made three cylinders, two small ones and a large one. Let's add a paper handle to the large cylinder. Take a piece of cardstock, fold it in half, cut it at an angle, glue it onto the cylinder, cut a little piece at the top to make a paper pitcher and two tall cups. We're gonna use the polish called Millennia. This is another magnetic polish. It goes on this kind of greenish blue gray color. But when we use the wand, you can see it changing and it looks like the galaxy. And now we have a millennia pitcher and two tall cups. And now we have combined two of my favorite things, nail polish and miniatures. We ended up making more than just vases, like the cup and plates. And we totally need some easy flowers for our vases. So let's cut a small piece of green floral wire and glue a yellow pom-pom on the end or whatever color you like. Place it into the paper vase for an artsy look. I kind of love pom-pom flowers. I make them all the time as a little crafting warm-up. And now our dolls can enjoy them too. So here is my Mooncat nail polish collection. Poseidon's prize, fake hollow, millennia, mermaid bait, Galactica, Mercury's Tears, Velvet Rose, Reclaim the Flame, Amuck, 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 and A Midsummer's Dream. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at my nail polish collection and made a few minis for the dollhouse. And paper roses work good in the vases too. I got those at the craft store. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuffthefrogvlog and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.